I'm Shannon Stewart from Ramsey County's Tamarack Nature Center and we are here today to talk about the final step in the process of making maple syrup. I'm here in our maple headquarters. This is where we stash all of our supplies that we use to make our maple syrup. We've got the aluminum buckets for hanging on the trees. We've got the plastic buckets for collecting and our carts here that we use to haul everything through our sugar bush. The sugar bush is the place where all the trees are. So from our sugar bush, we collect the sap, we bring it down to the sugar house, we boil it for a very long time. We don't quite get it to syrup down there and then we bring it up um, into the kitchen and we usually have volunteers or staff that will take it home and turn it into syrup. So the final step is just to boil it the rest of the way down till we get to that, we need it to be 65% sugar. Um, syrup boils at 219 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have to wash those things very carefully until we get it just to the right spot. And then we can can it into jars that we then give to our volunteers. We serve up to our program participants and do various other things with it throughout the year. So at the end of our season here, I would just like to say a big thank you to all of our volunteers who have helped us with our school programming. The kids tapped all the trees. So thank you to all the students and the program participants who came out and tapped a tree. Thank you to the volunteers who collected sap and finished sap and canned up our syrup and all the staff who pitched in in all those very different ways too. We couldn't do it without a ton of help um, that we could use to get all of this wonderful, yummy maple syrup. Center, And we are here today to see the final finishing process of our maple syrup. So we've already identified our trees, we've tapped them, we've collected all the sap, We've taken it down to the sugar shack and we've put it in the evaporator um, and now we're going to finish it and can it because when we pull it off the evaporator, it's not quite finished. We usually uh, spend, t spend a couple of days boiling down about 150 to 180 gallons of sap. That'll give us seven to eight gallons of almost syrup that we then put on the stove to cook on the stove. We still need to evaporate it down to about four gallons of syrup is what we will get out of that. So I've got some boiling here on the stove. What we need to do is we need to look at the temperature of our syrup. Right now, it's at about 217. It needs to be around 219 to be syrup. Um, that's why we finish it on the stove. We have to keep a careful eye on the temperature because if it gets too high, we start making things like taffy and maple cream and eventually maple sugar. We don't want any of that. We just want maple syrup. So we keep a close eye on the temperature. So this is still not quite syrup. We've got a couple of degrees to go. We need to get it up to 219-ish. So that's one thing we look at. The other thing we look at to make sure, because the temperature is not always accurate, is the density of the syrup. So I use a hydrometer and a hydrometer cup to check my density. So this is a really fancy hydrometer cup. It's called a Murphy cup. This little dial here will tell us what our density should be um, if what I put in here is syrup. It measures the temperature, tells me what the density should be, and then I use the hydrometer to check the actual density. We want our syrup to be about 65% sugar at a certain temperature. So it doesn't always come out to 65% because um, the temperature varies when I'm pulling it out of my pan. I have a pan of hot filtered syrup back here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is measure some out into a cup here. And then I'm gonna fill the Murphy cup. I don't wanna fill it all the way because if I fill it all the way, it's gonna overflow when I put the hydrometer in there. Um, so the hydrometer's got a little bit of lead. It's gonna float in there and whatever number's at the level is what the density will be. So according to my cup here, I should have about 61 and a half at this particular temperature. I'm gonna be very gentle. I don't wanna break my hydrometer. They're kind of expensive. So my syrup is actually coming out at about 60. So it's not, oh, it's floating up a little bit. It's almost 61. Oh, it almost matches. So cup change to 61 and the, uh, not quite 61 I'm really close so this syrup is actually ready to can it's close enough to can like I said I don't want to go too much over because um, then I'll start getting sugary substances so once we're ready to can we just need a jar 
So it's just a regular canning jar. And I've got my handy dandy funnel here so I will make less of a mess. Um, sometimes I still make a mess. And I'm just gonna scoop out of my pan here an inch of the jar. We're gonna fill it all the way up to the screw band there. We don't wanna have a half a jar of syrup. We definitely want a whole jar of syrup. And I need just a little bit more. So then get rid of my funnel, put on a lid, and I'm, I put all my jars into my canner here. There, there's boiling water in there, and then when I get a full, when I get a full canner, I will drop them all down into the water for about 10 minutes. That will help them seal properly. And when I'm all finished, we have our lovely tamarack maple syrup. So that's how we finish our syrup. I hope you enjoyed this series on maple syrup. Keep an eye on this page and you will see me and some other naturalists doing videos on a wide variety of topics that you will most likely enjoy.